So you just got your new iPhone 15 Pro and you have heard about the log recording on it and you're wondering what is that, how do I use it, why do I want to use it, how do I turn it on because iPhones don't make it that easy. Let's talk about it. So first and foremost, log shooting on your iPhone is something that you probably aren't going to want to do unless you are a professional videographer and already know what it is. Now that's not a perfect answer so we're going to go past that in the explanation but to use log footage in a project you have to know how to color grade it and that's just a whole other boat of knowledge so you can't just take log footage export it and post it because it will look awful now the way that i explain log footage to people who don't know a lot about photo and video i kind of explain it the same way as i explain what a raw photo is even though they are two very different things a raw photo is every little bit of pixel information that your camera takes in when you take the photo versus it you know compressing things and basically your phone editing it for you like a raw photo is just every bit of information that your sensor takes in whereas log footage is still a compressed version of footage it is just a different color profile so normal footage is going to look especially when we're talking about the iphone pretty vibrant and contrasty and it'll look like this pretty pleasing to the eye you don't really have to do much to it to use it whereas log footage is going to look very flat very boring very like white washed gray tones and so it, it looks very bad right off the bat the reason you would want this is because when you take a video you have the highlights and the shadows they are you know pretty far apart depending on your contrast level and then if you go in to your editing software and try to fix that you don't have a lot of room to work it's pretty baked in and usually unless you have a very high dynamic range camera you have a little bit of blown out highlights or muddy shadows whereas when you use log footage since everything is very flat it brings the dynamic range very close together so that you can get the highlights and the shadows in the shot you know with a easier time exposing it especially if you know how to expose it certain log footage you expose in certain ways and we won't jump into that when you expose it correctly and you shoot log footage you have a lot more room to work because you don't have blown out highlights you don't have muddy shadows and so you can take an image or a video that looks like this and very unpleasing to the eye and pretty quickly make it look like this now just to run through really quickly on your phone what you are going to want to do to turn on the log footage you can use third-party apps which i recommend black magic has a camera app for the iphone that is free and inside of that you have a lot more options and flexibility and you can adjust a lot more things whereas the iphone camera app is more geared towards everyday people who aren't going to be using these features probably very often if at all and so they still hide them in the settings i don't think it's correct i think on the pro phones they should make it a little bit easier to get to or you can get to it from within the camera app your normal camera app is going to give you very little options so you need to go in to your settings and then you will want to scroll down all the way to your camera and then from here you have a couple options so you have your record video settings and these are going to be you know 4k 1080p and then your frames per second as well you're going to have your stabilization your hdr uh, and then all of the formatting here now if we go down to formats which a little confusing but from here we can turn on a few things so at the very bottom of the screen you will see video capture apple prores and prores encoding so you want to turn on apple prores this will give you the option inside of your camera app to click prores and turn that on and then it tells you all of the information below that as to what prores is and uh, how it's going to affect the sizes of your recordings because they will be a lot bigger but then inside of the prores encoding you have hdr sdr so high dynamic range and then a standard dynamic range and then you have log so you will want to click on log inside of that menu and then you should be good to go let's go back into the camera app and i'm just going to have my screen recording here when we go to video at first it looks pretty normal uh, just like it normally would inside of here however if we go if you see in the top or i guess in this case lower left corner we have the prores log crossed out and what we we'll want to do is just click on that and it will turn it on now if you look when i turn it on everything goes from contrasty and colorful 
to uh, pretty bleak and grayed out and whitewashed. So this is what log is gonna look like when you first turn it on. And then also depending on your ProRes setting, it's gonna show you the max time that you can record because ProRes files are very large. So I have a 500 gigabyte phone here, 512. Haven't filled it up much. And as you can see, 58 minutes is what I have that I can record on. You are getting gigabytes and gigabytes of data per minute of video. And so you wanna be careful. Good thing is on these new phones, you can record to an external SSD because you have USB-C. You record your footage this way in log. What do you do now? Unless you're an Apple developer, you can't use the Apple log conversion LUTs. One thing that is cool is to get that footage to a usable point and a you know contrasty point, there's a lot of really cheap slash free and easy to use conversion LUTs. A LUT is something you put on your footage kind of like a preset if you have ever edited photos and it you know adjusts the colors accordingly. So there are LUTs that are specifically designed for certain log profiles, depending on what camera you have. And uh, it is made to convert that to a colored contrast the image. We take the image, we put a conversion LUT on it, and then voila, it looks a lot better. From here is where you get to do your color grading. You can adjust it however you need, however you wanna stylize it. But the point is that conversion LUT gets you to a starting point. Taking that footage, you can just color grade the log footage and make it you know, contrast to yourself and bring it back. Tossing a conversion LUT on is gonna be a lot easier. That's how you get to it inside of the normal camera app. Now you do have other camera apps. Like I said, the Blackmagic one is the one that I recommend or there is Filmic Pro and there is a lot of different options. And then in there, you're just gonna go into your settings depending on your app, click Apple Log and voila. Now you have these phones with 48 megapixel cameras. They can take amazing 4K video and super high res photos and you have log footage. And if you saw the Apple event announcing the M3 chips, they shot that whole thing on iPhone. They used Apple Log, Apple ProRes Log, and they color graded in, I believe, DaVinci Resolve, which DaVinci Resolve, the free video editor, has a built-in LUT for the Apple Log format. In short, you want to switch it on in your settings, and then you want to click on it while you are about to record. Record the footage as normal, either to your internal SSD or to an external SSD. And then you want to bring that into your video editor and apply a conversion LUT for the Apple Log format. And there you go. You have footage usable in a video. Now to a lot of people, it's not gonna look a lot different than if you just recorded it normally in the first place. But especially in harsh conditions, bright sunlight, super contrasty areas where you have super bright and super dark highlights and shadows, log is going to help a ton. They're very similar, but the log footage after it has been color graded and converted gives you more dynamic range. You see more of the highlights, you see more of the shadows and everything has a little bit more room to work. So if you're using your iPhone for anything professional or more in-depth and intense camera work, which now you can, there you go. Now, if you wanna get started with videography and you have an iPhone 15 Pro, you don't have to buy a camera. You didn't really have to for the last many, many years. They've always been super good, but that right there is kind of the finishing touch to make this a professional camera because people record professional movies and videos with sensors not much bigger than this one. So we're gonna keep this one short today. That is all I really wanted to talk about, but that is how you get in and use the log in your phone to get an easier to color grade image. And that's how you make it into something a little bit nicer. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want something more in depth and a longer version of this video, we can do that too. Just let me know. So that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. Consider subscribing. We do tech stuff, music, audio, video, Mac all the fun stuff. So if you enjoy that, consider subscribing and uh, we will see you in the next video. Have a good day.